Okay, and this is number three. Now, oops, <laughs> I'm going to uh, put in some silicone, or I already did. Just here a little bit, just like two drops. Because this time I'm going to do one of those, oh no, there it is, there is silicone in there. I'm going to do a bigger one with the rolling pin, but then I'm going to finish it off differently. So here we go. Let me clean this up first. I want the paper as clean as possible. It's going to be really dark. Let's think about this. Yeah, we want it dark. So we're going to put the darker color on like that. Then we want the nice and fiery burnt sienna on here. Then orange to even brighten that up even more. And a tiny little bit of But I gotta make sure that I have enough paint because this one needs to be 20 by 20 at least. So I'm gonna measure this one up because it's important because I told you about the mats I ordered. Maybe I'll put in, no, I wanna save that for what I'm gonna do to it. Maybe a little bit more just to be on the safe side. And it can't be too much, otherwise I can't make those little patterns. A little darker turquoise maybe and eh, we'll see what happens okay I think I have enough then I'm gonna put that one on top we're gonna roll it down but not too far and we're gonna roll it back up okay ooh pretty pretty but now we do torch because as you can see the silicone is already popping really pretty okay but because of um, the all the cells, which is making it um, pretty much uh, really busy, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So there it is. Then I'm going to take my ruler to measure 20. Yeah, that's okay. It's 20. That's gonna work, 20, it'll work. Now, what I'd like, but I need a little bit more silicone in this color. This is the uh, Naples yellow color. I'm going to put a little drippy drips down here, not too much. And here oops gotta watch out that it doesn't drop okay and more of the turquoise that and then finishing it off with the lighter color oh I did drop there I did hate when I do that okay and then we're gonna come in with the balloon okay oh that's a big balloon I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that balloon I'm going to use this one. See, that is a little bit a smaller surface, and that's what I was going to do like this. 
and that's all. Let's clean that off, I think. That's better, yeah. There it is. And we're not going to use the whole uh, print, but I'll show you what we're going to use. Oh, I can't show you with that one, but we're maybe with this one. See, this is what I'm going to get out of it. See? That's going to be really nice when it's dry. I am going to put a little bronze on it because I, I think bronze would look really nice after I torch it. I do want to torch these little, just a tiny little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to put that bronze glitter in my glove. I'm going to sprinkle it only on these little ball things. So we're not going to have glitter all around, but only on the little baldy things. They're going to be a little bit glittery. There it is. And voila, we're ready. I think that's going to be cute when it dries up. And then I might even be able to use uh, this, this bottom part, like here. Maybe. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think it'll fit. Then I should have put those little balls up there. Okay, guys. Love you all to pieces. See you in the next one.